How you doing? You doing it? So for the past 10 years, I've been 99%, not even close to vegan enough, can't even say the word, not even allowed, not even worthy of saying any word that starts with V. 10 years, and I was getting some results. It's not like I didn't improve my health dramatically on a vegan diet, I did improve. But it just, the bloating never stopped, the pain never stopped, fiber passing through me, something had to change, and I was just like, carnivore diet? Hey doggy. Yeah, I'm not nervous now. Yeah, just follow me. You're a beach doggy. Are you a beach doggy? You're a beach doggy. He's a beach doggy. <laughs> so I like to get advice from people who I respect and I see are getting real results in the real world. And Snake Diet Guy is one of them. And so is Life Regenerator. And they're so polar opposites, but really, they're the same person. They are the same person. Let's discuss it. He's walking somewhere. Picture this. Snake Diet Guy and Life Regenerator. They both have the same goals in life. They both want to be super healthy, as healthy as possible. So they're striving for optimal health. They just have different belief systems on how to get there. So Life Regenerator is all into the, they're both into fasting, first of all. They both live a fasting focused lifestyle, as Cole would say. But Life Regenerator is more on the detox side. Even when he's refeeding, he's detoxing with the fruits and the veggie juices. Whereas Cole, snake diet guy, he does a different approach. He cleanses with the water fasting and then builds up with the meats. And they're both respectable approaches. You're going to heal a lot of diseases following either of them. It's just which path do you want to go down and what symptoms do you have? Like for me, with the gut, it's just like fiber sucks. Fiber sucks. And I feel so good in the gut when I have no fiber. And I never wanted to do it. I was like, I came to Thailand for the fruits. For the frickin' fruits. That's why I'm here right now. And it's like... That didn't work at all. I never would have thought in a million years I'd turn to the meat side, but I kept an open mind and you have to keep an open mind. I would watch Snake Diet Guy and he's getting results and it's like, he's healthier than me. He is healthier than me eating meat. There's sand flies everywhere. So that's some bullshit. He had better skin than me, stronger than me, happier, angrier and happier at the same time. And I was just like, I kept an open mind thinking, okay, maybe if veganism fails me, I'll consider that, but as if, as if. So keeping the dogmatic free zone in your frontal lobe for seven minutes every day, what am I doing? He would say things like, he's doing this for optimal health, and he would be doing veganism if that was the healthiest thing you could do, but he didn't believe it was. He's tried it. I've tried it. So many people fail on it. So many people thrive on it. It's a balance. I don't know if we have different genetics that just some people do better on it. Oh, that was a... F These little holes have crabs. It's so funny when they just... They're up there and they see you and they're like, oh, no. So it's just a different belief system. There's so many different ways to get healthy. It doesn't really matter. Just try one. Oh my God. Try one path. If that doesn't work, give it a good month or two. And if do you feel worse, stop doing it if you do. I gave it 10 years and I was like, still cleansing. Just got to cleanse a bit more. How much filth could I possibly have? 36. But I just respect Cole and Dan so much. I respect Snake Diet Guy because he just speaks his mind. He's not afraid to say what's on his mind and he's just looking for truth just like I am. It's like, we're just looking for the optimal way to eat and the optimal way to feel and live the longest and just feel good. That's all we want. And it's like, so what if we step on your toes and we're doing something you don't believe in? It's like, so what? Nobody really knows how to live to 300. It's like, we're just, you gotta feel good now. And if you feel good now, imagine what tomorrow's gonna feel like. Good or better. So I'm into optimal health and I had a choice. 
continue on the vegan path or try this carnivore thing. And I chose the carnivore path because I believe it's healthier. Not only because I'm seeing results, but well, mainly because I'm seeing results. It's like I'm stronger, I'm healthier, my skin is better, I have more energy. Like every health box peer you could label it's like, how do you feel? I'm ticking all the boxes. There's literally nothing. I even smell better now. It's like, in the beginning, I smelt a little weird, like a horse that fell and he had a bunch of sand on him and he was wet. That's what I smelt like. But now it's like, my body uses those poisons for fuel now. So I smell great. It's like, there's no downsides. What's the downsides other than me murdering every day? But something... This is an illusion. None of this is real. You're trying to f save a fake animal that doesn't even exist. That's how I see it. Believe what you want on the ethical side. It's like, I'm not gonna try to justify it. I'm killing, but I need to, to feel good. I've never felt this good, so I just keep doing it. And you could argue, you could make the arguments. I, don't, I try not to get too deep into the ethical side, but in my opinion, if you're eating like corn, wheat, soy, grains, that's not any better for the environment than a grass-fed cow. Hello, so what the crap? <laughs> so it's like, people that say animal agriculture is so bad for the environment, it's like, what about all the wild herds of buffalo? It's like, oh, better kill all those off. It's like, they renew the soil. They eat the grass, they poo everywhere, stomp on it, squish it in there. It's like, it's good for the environment. And done right, I do believe the grass-fed cows can do the same thing. And is it sustainable for the entire world to do it? The entire world doesn't have to do it. Nobody has to be, unless you're seriously sick, it's not like the whole world has to eat nothing but beef. It's like just some people need it and it can be done sustainably. So I'm motivated by both Life Regenerator and Snake Diet Guy and a bunch of other people, Lou Corona. There's a bunch of people I look up to and I'm like, yeah, you're getting results. Like SimNet Nutrition, he's getting all the results I'd ever want, but I can't do it. He's eating all this fiber. It's like vegetables and everything, whole grains and beans, and it's like nuts and seeds, peanut butter. It's like, I can't do that. I've tried it. So you look to people getting the results you want, then maybe replicate what they're doing, but not everybody can just do the same thing and be healthy. So I get inspired by both Life Regenerator and Snake Diet Guy, but I've tried the life regenerator path. And just for me, maybe I didn't dig deep enough. That's very possible. But there's only so much cleansing you can do before you run out of nutrients. And it's like, you gotta spend some time building back up again. You could do it as a vegan. I always felt better doing the high fat vegan thing, building up, but my digestion was terrible. So we found a life hack in the no fiber diet. And it's just like we're building, but we're also cleansing at the same time. I eat one meal a day. Nobody needs more than that. I'm active. I'm out here swimming in the ocean. I just worked out today doing my one arm push ups. You trying to tell me you can do that? You trying to tell me you can do those? Give me a break. You can't do it. And now, inspired by a snake diet guy, I'm taking it to the next level and adding in a weekly 48 hour fast. Is that a snail? He's a snail. I always want to take these shells, but then I see someone that's living in it. And so I don't take it. I'm still an ethical person. Whenever I see one of those, I'm like, no, that's his home. Let him go around. I still try to do good. But yeah, I'm doing a weekly 48 hour fast. And we will see if I can't, if I start losing too much weight, then maybe I have to stop it to like, twice a month or something but so far so good I did it last week and we're doing it tomorrow basically my plan I work out six days in a row and then the next day I fast and then the next day I refeed and then the next day I start my six day workout program again so it seems sustainable it seems great and I'm doing the digging deep on the cleansing 48 hours it's like it's not very stressful, but it's still super cleansing. It's a reset. And I just think one meal a day plus a 48 hour fast and you're building up with the proper nutrients, the anti-inflammatory cholesterol that everybody's scared of. It's like, how is this not gonna work? It's working. It's like, 
I'm getting less and less desire to want to go back to veganism and probably I will just start embracing this more and more because I've, I've been trying to just ease your way into it not showing any meals or anything but this is healthy and I'm probably gonna start showing you meals someday soon maybe we'll see I do have respect for the vegans though that's why I don't want to just eat meat on camera it just seems mean to all the vegans I respect you guys I respect your choices but really, if you're on that no-kill lifestyle, you gotta be fruitarian almost to really, cause grains are killing, beans are killing, even vegetables, you kill a lot of insects and then it's up to you who's more important, a cow or an insect, you species -ismist. how dare you? So I just wanted to give a little shout out to Snake Diet Guy He's constantly learning and changing just like I am. When I first saw his videos, he was eating nothing but like bacon and cucumbers as an experiment, just dialing in the sodium levels and the potassium. It's like, okay, this works. And then he keeps changing. Okay, fruit and meat now. Okay, fruit, a little bloated. Revisit things that you've tried in the past, but things change whenever you try something. I've tried the high fat vegan diet like five times, I think. And each time I improved a little bit and added things and it worked better so we constantly learn and I may not be doing the carnivore thing for a long time but who knows I'm just it's in a constant state of learning and if you get stuck in a dogma that's when you're trapped and you just you hold on to this belief system and then you handicap yourself I handicapped myself for so many years on the vegan plan I was just like no meat can't be the way so let's not do that but I just respect you all no matter what you eat, if you're like just trying to be healthy, I really respect that. Because it's so hard sometimes just figuring out what we can eat. And it's just like so many people lying to each other. That's why I trust Snake Dot Guy. You just, you can tell he's, he's saying his truth. And so is Life Regenerator. And so am I. So we're all good people here. I almost stepped on a very spiky thing. And I think we're done here. I'm going to go dip in that ocean. Every day, I'm telling you, I feel so recharged from this ocean. Moving here was the best decision I've made in the past year. Just being by this, avoiding the jellyfish. That's the only thing that scares me. But man, it's just, it's clearing up my skin and I feel just so recharged every time I dip in that ocean. So I think we're done here. Let me know your thoughts down below. Which path do you think is healthier, life regenerator fasting and detoxing with the fruits and veggie juices or snake diet guy fasting and detoxing with just water and then building up with the meats no fiber soothing the colon oh my goodness it's so soft meat is just so soft and friendly on the gut never thought that i always thought it was so hard to digest it's like the easiest thing to digest so i think we're done we're done here for today. Thanks for watching the video. Consider giving it a thumbs up if you liked it. Unbelievable. Thumbs down. If you ride a turtle to work and then you give him a, a Quaker Oats bar, even though he told you he's allergic to oats, unbelievable. You're pushing on your oat dilemmas. Dilemma? That wasn't the word. I'm gonna leave. We're leaving. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe to the Patreon for monthly Q&A. I'll see you in the next video.